So, in regards to sustainable uh, tourism, how do you think this can be implemented within the tourism field in the Philippines? First of all, you have to make sure that the policy framework is in place. So in the Philippines, we have um, crafted laws that will ensure that uh, tourism projects uh, comply with certain guidelines to ensure that uh, they will not have uh, any uh, adverse effect um, on the environment. The second point is that we have to make sure that there is uh, uh, appreciation and understanding coming from all the the stakeholders and even the local communities because once you have a better understanding and appreciation then the implementation becomes easier. The next question um, will be also considering you already said now that um, do you think that your plans will help to improve a position of your history like in the meaning uh, that young people would like to stay in your country and would like to promote your historical background like a tradition and to pass it to the future. Uh, would you like or can you ask um, if, if your management will consider this, this historical thing as well? Part of the objective uh, of tourism development is to instill national pride uh, among Filipinos. And uh, to achieve this, it's very important for them to have a deeper sense of appreciation of their historical and uh, cultural heritage. So in coming up with our plans for tourism, we make sure that uh, we highlight uh, the very rich history and culture that uh, the Philippines has so that the, the population in general, especially the young ones, uh, will have a deeper appreciation. Once you achieve that, then you're able to move forward at a faster rate. And one more question. And then we saw a lot of um, your, your data that social media really help you to improve your management. Do you think that the social media like Twitter and Facebook play important role to be successful and to gather the third place in these uh, statistics? Definitely. Uh, social media has played a very pivotal role in getting the word out. And we really have to thank uh, the millions of Filipinos who are very active uh, in, the, in the different social networking sites. One advantage that we have uh, over uh, other countries or other destinations is that uh, Filipinos have a much uh, larger footprint. Uh, we have friends all over. And because we are relatively more proficient in English, we are able to reach out to, uh, to a larger population, uh, population base. The successes that we have achieved so far uh, for the More Fun campaign can be attributed largely to, to digital media. And this is something that we will continue to capitalize on, uh, considering the very limited funds that we have. Uh, in effect, what's going to happen is uh, it will be the Filipinos who will be at the forefront of uh, tourism promotions and as I mentioned earlier effectively they are our tourism ambassadors. Then maybe last question do you think it can be something done to be better still better? Absolutely there are uh, a thousand and one ways to improve on the campaign. Uh, we feel that uh, in many parts of the world uh, uh, there are still a lot of um, uh, would-be travelers who either have not heard of the Philippines or have heard about the Philippines but have not uh, traveled. So when I asked uh, the audience earlier, you know, who among them has been to the Philippines and only one raised uh, his hand, I think that's still a challenge, you know, but it's a challenge that uh, we uh, eagerly uh, uh, accept. And uh, at the end of the day, we're hoping that uh, we can get more uh, visitors from all over the world to come to the Philippines and you know, find out the many reasons why it's more fun. Thank you very much. Thank you.